Hey VC, it's Ayaka Star Amber again, and I'm here to do a response to Jeremy Ginger's VC challenge. I meant to do this after that unboxing video, but you don't want to know the whole story, but someone pointed out that my Expedite Expedite IKEA shelf was sideways, and it was, so I tried flipping it, and um, I got so exhausted after that I just had no desire to do any videos. I could barely move for two days, so that's basically why I didn't do it, but I guess it's not the first time that I've promised a video and something happened. Um, but I'm leaving my expedite the way it is, um, long story, but I just didn't read the instructions right, but it's completely secure. It has been for a year. So anyway, um, Jeremy explained that the contest is kind of like the ALS challenge, except for the VC that we nominate people that have done something nice for us. Now, um, I made a list and this list it, it is a little long, so I might have to pare it down. I just didn't want this to be so long then hurt feelings because I can't list every one of my subscribers. I wish I could nominate everyone because I think everyone who subscribed to me is a nice person. So don't be offended if you didn't make the cut or anything. Um, I know how difficult this challenge is. And before I even begin, um, Jeremy, you get an honorable mention like I explained on Facebook because of the nice thing you did for me and getting me that um, surprise birthday gift from Amazon. I, I still love that album and um, I, I really am appreciative of that and for even, you know, doing this thinking up this challenge is great and very generous of you, so um, that's great. And I know we banter back and forth on Facebook. Um, hopefully this video's resolution is all right. Um, I don't, I guess I don't really care, but it's just a joke because I really, really don't understand this iPad yet completely. The resolution actually looks better within iMovie itself than the camera app, so I'm trying this out, but in the end, this is all about being grateful, thankful to people in the VC. This is kind of like a side um, to Robert Z's VC Lotto. I was going to give shoutouts in that video when I do that one, so instead I'll just do all my shout outs in here because some of the people on my list have already been nominated by other people so i'm just going to start the first person this is an alphabetical order the first person is 1204 willow maggie that's kind of an obvious because <laughs> it's the reason i'm here if not for her contest sparking an interest in me i wouldn't be here I would have put it off for maybe another year or more. I don't really know. Um, I just know that I put it off for four months before seeing about her contest. So I, I really am grateful to her videos and her inspiration. I've also um, learned about some artists from her videos like Wayne Shorter, that Juju album. I. I remember I first saw it in her video, and Portugal the Man as well, which I have one album so far, so really, um, Maggie still makes great videos, so I'm sure everyone knows Maggie, but check her out if you haven't. Um, the second on the list isn't someone who makes videos, but it's someone from the Facebook group, Amy W., you know who you are, and Jeremy, if she wins, I'll... I'll tell you her Facebook info, but I think she really deserves to be nominated because she's a great person. We bonded over Tinder sticks, but we also bonded on a personal level in a way. I was able to open up more about 
health and anxiety stuff and she opened up to me about stuff so I really enjoy the personal level of um, people I've met in the VC and Amy is just an overall genuine great person not even mentioning how she had that input with Justin's VCLT package which I was very I could see her influence and was very grateful for that the next person is more of um, a shout out because he's been mentioned a couple times beetle cat one Steve I always um, have a smile on my face when I see your comments they're always very nice another person who doesn't make videos but I think I saw you comment on one of Robert Z's videos that you might start making them I'll be really in shock when it happens I'm always in shock when someone I subscribe to starts making videos so that'll be great and you also live in Texas right um I remember a comment about your daughter living nearby I could be mistaken but I think that was you the next person is LJ Biosite one um, he leaves great um, comments they're always very witty well-written um, comments and it's not just that but he's the first person I did a trade with not BCLT but a trade um, Colin already knows about it and well everyone who's watched LJ's video I still need to show my portion of it which I hope to do once these contests slow down because I can only film so much now and I was I was exhausted after the last videos but I still plan to show it and I'm very appreciative of the trade and was glad that we were able to work it out um, but I traded him the Judas Priest box set that I showed in an old unboxing video that I won from Colin's contest, Colin Medicine Horse, and I did really love that Judas Priest box set. It was very well put together, but as you remember, the vinyl was kind of a little messy um, because of the plastic inner sleeve faux pas. So. Um, but LJ, that was the only album he was missing from Judas Priest, so he still wanted it despite its issues, and I only listened to the CD, so I gladly wanted to help him out, and the trade went wonderfully. I, I'm very appreciative and love that Gene Loves Jezebel album. I guess I'm giving away part of what I got so I'll definitely show that soon. I'm not showing it in this video because I've already planned that video out. So next up is Karsten Olsen, of course. Karsten makes really great videos and he's also an Apple fanatic. So um, I, I appreciated when um, recently he even did a test video for me showing the um, black background opener so that you could put your title on it and I did it with confidence in the last video which is blocked in Germany and mobile devices so if you didn't see it or you don't know what I'm talking about sorry guys it was for Robert C's theme contest so that's why I played a whole song it was my fault so if you can't view it I'm really sorry but I'll plan to use the black background opener here and there, not in this video because it's going to be long enough already, but beyond Karsten's um, the Apple value, <laughs> he's also just an overall great guy. Um, he introduced me to so many Danish artists, including Kashmir, which is playing right now, and Volbeat and DAD. So I hope to get some DAD soon. I I really, really, really want some DAD. So yeah. Next up, sorry for all the pausing. I'm looking down at my paper. Colin Medicine Horse, which an, another great guy in the um, VC. Beyond winning his contest, which, you know, it's nice and all, but um, before even that, 
he gave me a mini tape player out of nowhere. It was during Robert Z's contest about grails where I mentioned that a grail for me was my old fake rap radio show tapes. So when I mentioned I couldn't play them anymore because my um, Walkman died, he just flat out offered it. I still was going to send him some stuff in the future, like that Bjork poster, which I eventually sent him when he won my one contest, but at this point I hadn't sent him anything, so it was just a great surprise, and I still love listening to my fake rap radio show tapes, as you all saw when I did um, Harmless Rebels contest and played clips on it. Um, next is Cory from Cory's VC channel. He does great editing in his videos and he's participated in both of my past contests, which um, I always appreciate, especially with his editing techniques. It makes it um, enjoyable. Not to say that the unedited videos in the VC aren't, but it brings a new aspect to the VC. Um, so beyond that, his segments on his channel, like the record stores across America and the McBride collection, I love, I love viewing those videos. And even if I don't comment on all of them, I think I did comment on most of the McBride collection ones, but I just love learning and seeing um, things people get enthusiastic about. And I um, definitely have down McDonald and um, Giles from that McBride collection and I was looking on eBay for it so I hope to find that soon. I would have never known about that otherwise, even though it's related to King Crimson, which is another thing I still need to have in my collection, but I, did, I do love King Crimson and want some of that. Oh, and I also looked up Unleashed in the East, um, the live Judas Priest album because of a recent Cory video. I like writing down titles and um, it, it just adds to my excitement, even if I don't own them yet. I just always think when I do, I'll think of that person. So, um, And also, he was nice enough to give me tips about um, the USB mic for when my fan issues were happening on my computer. He mentioned at the end of my last um, contest, his response to it, that he would help me out. So I PM'd him and I still might look into it. Um, but I think the iPad has a good enough mic, but I really just appreciated the extra, you know, want, you know, to help, you know. Not everyone thinks of the, those things. So next up is David, Dark Side of the Zoom. I have hours of enjoyment from watching his videos. Um, another with great editing, the VC movie trailers, I'll never get over those, even if I wasn't included yet. Um, I know it's very difficult to match people up, but I just, I couldn't stop laughing at those videos. I still sometimes um, would go and look at them. So I hope you continue with that, David. I'd love to see more with some new people in it. Um, and also, Howl and Rain. I'll always think of you if I get Howl and Rain. It's on my wish list. I wanted to buy it right away, but because of the iPad purchase, I had to put off buying anything. So it's like top of my list. I especially love the live album. I listened to it the other week and it's even better than the, um, than the one you showed for my contest. I love both. Okay, next up is Chris Dixieland Farm. He's been mentioned a few times I know, so it's more of a shout out to him. I know I haven't talked to Chris in a while and I need to catch up on videos, but he's always has very he has very informative videos and I always want to be like him in that I want my videos to be shorter, um, but I never quite, I never quite, you know, achieve that, unfortunately. 
I mean, I have some short videos, but I can't talk fast and get out a lot of info. <laughs> um, I learned about um, the Millennium Beyond. I wrote that down especially um, with Chris Byatt. So I'll know, I'll always know when I buy that album. I, I enjoyed listening to it. It did remind me of, of Montreal and stuff. So I'll really look forward to buying that one. Um, next is Daryl D. Washington. Um, he was the first person to sub me. I didn't have any videos. I only said hi in the Facebook group. And immediately he was asking to send BCLT, um, for, you know, his famous mixes. So that was great. I felt accepted right away when Daryl um, um, welcomed me to the group. And I hope that he starts making videos again. I know he's um, having some tough times. So really, I'm glad that everyone still thinks of him and his mixes, because I know he's been nominated a couple times too. Um, next up is Steve, Harmless Rebel. I'm um, listing you because of our love of Murakami. Did you read the book yet? I, I just am, I'm thankful that I got to read it, you know, with everyone else, because I probably would have, you know, found it eventually, but I had lost track of looking at the fan page, so, and also Steve has a great channel showing metal music and other great stuff. I know Depeche Mode and all that, um, great, and great stories too. Um, okay, Jose. Jose is a great guy who doesn't make videos. He's a great friend on Facebook. He once gave me an Amazon gift card for absolutely no reason except for being his friend. He always checks up on me. Um, to this day, we just talked earlier today about books. So he's just a really nice guy. And if you don't know him, I, I highly suggest seeking him out on Facebook or talking to him um, through messages on YouTube. He always leaves very nice comments. Okay, the next one's probably out of left field is Mike Seatown. Now, I say this because Mike Seatown, he's more of a pop, he's more pop, like he has a lot of subscribers, um, and he's in the dead end hip hop group, I think, but I found him through Needle Drop and I couldn't believe it when he subbed me and said that I did a great job on my intro. And honestly, even though I, I credited Needle Drop for discovering the VC, I think it was really Mike Seatown. Needle Drop mentioned Mike and I looked immediately at his channel and subbed him and he talked up the VC whenever he showed records. He said what a great group it was, and I think that's why I looked up more videos. Mike just seems like a great guy, and he has great taste in music, um, stuff like The Cure and Death in June, and I, I really need to catch up on your channel. I've just been feeling that I'm going to really, I feel I, I'll get tempted. That's the right word, tempted, because whenever I see the, um, the records in your videos, I looked them up. I still want Death in June, but the last time I looked, that EP was like $40. So, I don't know. I'll eventually get some Death in June. Oh, I missed someone on the first page. I just noticed this. Sorry, guys, it was in alphabetical order, but I have to mention Brett Helm, Life on This blog, Planet blog. He's the, um, he's one of the admins, um, in the Facebook group. He isn't an original admin, but he is the, one of the current ones, and he always gives a nice welcome, and I will never get over that cactus with the balloon pic that he sometimes posts, um, and once me, 
My cousin Lindsay and him got in a discussion about Death in June and Current 93, which is why I suddenly thought, did I miss him when talking about Mike Seatown? So I listened to Death in June and Current 93 more closely during that discussion. I guess I'll give um, a nomination to my cousin Lindsay too. She, her name is Ritual X Coffee. I think Jeremy, if family's excluded, sorry, but she did give an intro to the VC and I think she deserves it. Her birthday's next month. So, okay, I think I'm all caught up now. We're to um, My Vinyl Bar, Yarko. He's another great guy who leaves very witty comments and he's a great guitar player. I watched his last video and I was really into that guitar playing. He also likes stuff like Black Sabbath, Metallica. Um, I really enjoy his videos and I still plan to make a video showing my small 7 inch collection because I know that you were interested. Um, next up is um, Rob from Boston, Panique's 1960. I, I listed down the nicest guy in the VC to many, including me. That's what I wrote. Because he always leaves very nice comments and it always makes you feel nice and warm inside when um, he leaves a personal comment um, to everyone. And I hope you get your, your camera fixed or so you can make videos again. I always enjoyed how all of your videos have shout outs practically. You love the VC so much that all of them do. So I really, I feel the love when, when Rob from Boston is around. And I hope to get those suede reissues you mentioned and some Smith's vinyl someday. So that's what I listed for you. Um, next up is Richard. Um, Richard Lee Drums, what can I say? That's what I wrote. <laughs> um, we'll always have Ole, John Coltrane, because seriously, I did an entry to his contest late last year, and he immediately, after knowing how his story about the Ole album touched me, he immediately wanted to send me a copy, and... I didn't, I wasn't one of his like six or so winners to his contest, but that meant more to me than winning. Seriously, I still look at that album and I'm like, it, it touched me. So um, I'm really grateful to that. I also discovered the 3D cover of the Amon Dual Yeti album from him showing it in the um, VC Facebook group. So that's another shout out to him so next up is an obvious he's been nominated so many times that it's just a shout out but robert z seriously robert i wrote one word soup just kidding <laughs> because we always are discussing soup in the comments or various food we're having for dinner which is kind of funny um, and I'm always saying, I'll just eat the veg the veggies because I'm vegetarian. And he mentioned that in, in his response to his, um, to this contest about my whole vegetarian thing. And yes, I almost, I'm close enough to vegan, but I still eat cheese. I like Romano cheese and I like butter. So there you go. If you didn't know that about me, now you do. I like fake meat soy products, so that's what I discuss, that in soup, um, with Robert. And Robert is the most personable, funny person in the VC. Not funny as in, a, you know, making fun of, but his character is everything. He's just crazy in a good way. I just, I, I go to his channel and I can relax and all the stress goes away. I, um, I may not look like it, but I do get a lot of stress from anxiety. So um, when I go to his channel, I'm, I'm lifted up again. And knowing that he nominated me in the same contest, I just 
wasn't even surprised because he's just that great of a person um, that he thinks of everyone like that. And I'm envious of his Japanese pressings, so there's another thing. And whenever I look at anything Japanese, now I think of Robert and his great immaculate collection <laughs> that you need like white gloves to um, touch in a museum setting. So yeah, I'm looking down because I wrote more about Robert. Oh yeah, his magic. He also does great magic tricks sometimes. And I seriously think he would do well on America's Got Talent just because of his presentation. I, I just seriously, I don't know how he does it. Okay, next up is Roger Coleman. Um, we have similar taste in indie music and stuff, and he always leaves very nice comments for me on Facebook even, which is cool. Um, I like that. And his new album, Cosmologies, is very nice, very chill. I need to show that in my next vinyl update. I'm glad I have that album now. Um, and this person is taking a hiatus, this next person who I'm listing. So Jeremy, if people who are taking a hiatus are not allowed to be nominated, sorry, I really have to nominate this person. The blank page is Lindsay. Um, we, she's the only person who I've um, connected with through email even. We would discuss Texas because she lived in Houston for a while before moving back. And we always had good conversations. Um, she showed some obscure music in rare albums all the time. And it was great hearing a seller's perspective. So, Lindsay, wherever you are, I hope you come back to the VC soon. Um, I should shoot another email your way, probably. I'm usually shy about starting conversations, but I really miss hearing from you. So, And I hope you're doing well in school, because I know that was one of your reasons for the hiatus. Okay, and... I'm almost to the end. Sorry, guys. The next person is Two Turtle Tutor. You knew I wouldn't forget you, right? My number one fan, pretty much. And the VCLT you're talking about sending just sounds insane. I'll look forward to it, but sometimes I don't know if I'm worthy. But I'm, I really love all of your comments and all of your help about equipment stuff and everything and the albums you recommend and now that you've started making videos you're just a natural at it i always fumble all my words even and i'm even more now because my back's hurting and the record stopped like 10 decades ago <laughs> but never mind that you're just great and I, I enjoy that you are in the VC. Oh, and I forgot to mention that what you said about how you went from an observer to a participator, that really touched me because I always thought of myself as the observer more than the participator. I still struggle against that. And if I don't leave comments on videos for a while, it's not because I don't like you anymore. It's mostly because I got into that shy period where I need to warm up to it again and sometimes I'm just trying to avoid record temptation <laughs> like now it's very hard to avoid record temptation but I do watch some videos here and there and I hope to catch up on some people's channels soon so if you're listed here I'll probably be catching up on your channel if I haven't yet I think I only caught up on a couple people in the past since my family was visiting and the last person who isn't in order because I added him last is Justin I. He's the one who sent me the VCLT in the last unboxing. I felt it was appropriate to list him because he's a great he's a great generous guy. Seriously, he sends to so many people. He's like the king of VCLT and he always sends really 
elaborate packages with things that you just can't even imagine until you open the box. And he doesn't make videos, he's only in the Facebook group, but he shows some very interesting things, some Japanese singles and all kinds of cool stuff. So if you don't know Justin and you're on Facebook, I, I highly suggest you seek him out. Not just um, because of the VCLT, but he's just a nice guy. And him and Amy, they're just my top non-video making people. Okay, I forgot to give one shout out to Dr. Deadwax because he keeps calling me Lisa still. And since he's already been nominated, that's all I have to say is that it's cool. He still calls me Lisa. I once told a story about how no one in eighth grade wanted to call me Lisa, which is the name I wanted to be for some reason. So I just find that really amusing <laughs> um, that even in his last intro to the digital download community, he said Lisa. So Jeremy, I hope this is good for you, and I hope I didn't um, confuse you at all because I went a little out of order at one point, but this is a really long video. Bye, VC, and take care.